our last day in Dubai and we've actually decided to leave Dubai today. So we are on a tour, we're, um, we're taking a private tour, we're leaving Dubai right now, we're in a car and we are going to the capital um, which is in Abu Dhabi. So we're going to make a few little stops there, just do a little sightseeing and get some pictures and you know, learn a little bit there. Um, so we're going to do, we'll probably be going about half a day or so before we come back to Dubai and pack. Yep. And you cannot enter the mosque without traditional outfits on. So as you see, we plan to enter the mosque. So we'll show you a little more as we go. So stay tuned. All right, so we've made it. We are in the capital in Abu Dhabi, the capital of the Emirates. And we're here at this famous mosque. It is huge. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know how it may look on video, but we haven't even gotten close to it. It is so big and beautiful. I can only imagine inside. Wow, very nice. So, <laughs> change outfit. Jasmine um, was going through security. There's a male entrance and there's a female entrance. And she did a wardrobe change when she came out. <laughs> yes, they definitely pulled me to the side. My dress was, it didn't have a button at the bottom, so it was too open, I guess. I was, yeah, she was too exposed, apparently. Right. So. Oh, I think it just needed. She said that it w it just needed. Like I guess it needed an extra button at the bottom. But, Man, I wish we would have a safety pin, right? Or something. Well. Well, anyway, you look nice is, in the cool gray. I mean, this outfit is a little cooler. Yeah. You should have brought your cool gray Jordans. We're gonna look looking nice. This is blue, not gray. Oh, my shades are really dark right now. I want to go inside this place real quick. So, we're about to head in there and see what's going on. It is so big. Beautiful. Everything is pristine white and clean. Yeah. And just gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Put 
these on. Uh, the top of each of those, the top of each dome is actual real 24 karat gold. largest one piece carpet in the world. It was nine separated pieces. They transported the nine separated pieces by two airplanes from Persia to Abu Dhabi. They weaved the nine separated pieces on site and it took around 12 to 18 months to finish weaving this carpet. So tell me, what do those chandeliers look like? does it look like? A mushroom flipped upside down? To be honest, the design of those three chandeliers is from the date palm tree flipped upside down. So the globes, red, yellow, green, represent the date's fruit. The cylindrical part of the chandelier represents the palm trunk. Just look to the wall that has a niche. You know what the niche is? A niche is a half circular shape in the middle of one wall in the 
most on. So did you get it? Yeah. Where is it? The niche it shows us two things. Direction of praying plus the Imam's location or the Imam's position. What does it say? Fajr is it is at 4.05. Yes? Am I right on the time? Then moving clockwise. Shuruq. Shuruq is an Arabic word which means sunrise. So that's it for the tour. It's beautiful. It was a lot to learn yeah. and a lot more to learn, but just really beautiful. And we just walked out. It is hot. Like it is well over a hundred degrees out here. So yeah. Um I don't know if we're gonna make any or many stops because we're kind of pushing for time um, which is why we did a private driver to bring us here because I just didn't have the time to sit on the bus um, and have them keep us out here in eight nine hours yeah but very cool we could say that we made it to Abu Dhabi right and we've been to the Grand Mosque absolutely beautiful yes beautiful experience great teachable experience yeah learning experience <laughs> yeah so, it was very amazing i highly recommend if you guys come out here to visit Grand yeah if you go to dubai you should definitely make the trip to abu dhabi to get to this mosque to learn some stuff just as just seeing alone is amazing but do the tour don't just do the walkthrough definitely do the actual guided tour Okay, Abu Dhabi. So we are at the Royal Palace in Abu Dhabi. Emirates Palace. Right? Emirates Palace. Emirates Palace or Royal? Okay. Emirates Palace. Look how beautiful it is. This is outside of the place. It's literally like a palace. I mean, the video can't even do justice of how huge it is Elaborate. and beautiful the architecture the oh my goodness so there's a mall in there a food court and everything it just is pretty crazy yeah of course parked in the front white Lamborghini royal family <laughs> the royal family they said lives across the street and the extravagant building i'm not sure which one to be honest this one, this one. that's the one he said yeah. that yeah that's fancy it's like a big thing palace back there wow yeah i'm sure you can't drive in there those are the real billionaires that could put up a whole city overnight 
crazy. Oh, nice. You can sit on a couch and you can actually they have a TV. You can see when your ride pulls up. You can watch when they pull up. Yeah. It's a, uh, not just a mall, but maybe it's a hotel as well. Yeah. It's a mall slash hotels. Probably. It's kind of like the Atlantis of um, Yeah. Is that what it is? I don't think so. Yeah. This is. Which makes sense because even. The Atlantis has shopping like a mall. So, yeah, if you're gonna stay in Abu Dhabi, I guess this is it. This is where I wanna stay. So here's what's actually here. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's just a really extravagant hotel. But all the bells and whistles, horns too. Last day in Dubai. I'm so sad. The last day is always like you're trying to enjoy it and then it's hard to enjoy it. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm exhausted. This it's only six AM in New York, so I'm still not adjusted to this time here. Alright. We slept uh, about three hours last night, so yeah. And the real reason is when we bought that um, that spa that we did, the massage, it was a package. It was a package. It was a lunch. It was a lunch <laughs> and a spa, 45 minute massage and lunch so it costs about $88 for the 45 minute massage full body massage and a lunch where you get any starter I mean any main course and dessert you want for lunch that was a really good deal for 88 bucks a person enjoy so this is actually from our hotel you can actually just walk right down here and this is for the hotel only they have a bar and everything down here we didn't come down here because we've been so busy doing stuff yes no and it's just been too dang going hot it's to be been honest. over 100 degrees every day it's actually that's what it's actually 100 degrees right now so it's actually pretty cool yeah it's only 101 like when we went to Abu Dhabi it was a 109 which was like the hottest I've been in 
so yeah but the views are amazing as every everywhere else in the hotel as you see just we haven't had time to come down here so um, you know it's part two of our honeymoon involves a lot of beach time so that's why we also didn't really we wouldn't really obsess too much over it but we still want to come down and check it out see what it's about so okay we see what it's about all right so that's the end of our dubai trip we had a fabulous 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 time i really really enjoyed myself dubai is so rich in culture rich in the religion rich in their architecture it was a really really great learning experience for us yeah. it was also a great time we really really enjoyed ourselves this like we discussed it earlier this jumped to the top of our list for best vacations we've had in our life. That's how good it is. Uh, yeah, it's a best I know, best I don't know. There's so much to do out here. Yeah. Like, you can't even do it all. We've been here six, six days, nights. and yeah. we, we could still be here another week. Yeah. And we would not be bored at all. So much We would do. be broke, but we wouldn't be bored. Right. And my one tip for people is definitely come with a lot of spending money. It's just because you're in a different country doesn't mean it's cheaper. Right. It's actually like the same price, I would say. It's more expensive to wine and dine. Oh yeah, like dinner, like drink, that. Like the drink, drink, drink yeah. and stuff, like liquor and stuff like that. It's expensive. Cabs, everything Cabs is expensive. Like, yeah. If you want to make this your trip, do not come here with just like $500. A lot. Don't come here on a budget. Yeah. Let's just say that. Yeah, this if you're on a tight budget, don't come to Dubai. However, if you got it, this is it. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. So luckily, yeah. we had a great time. You know, we did. Now you guys know where to have a wedding. So for this trip, we're hanging out. Yeah, we're hanging out. Yeah, we're hanging out. Now you guys know where to have a wedding. So for this trip, we had it. Right. So exactly. We might not have it for the next trip. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy the vlogs. I don't know how we're just going to separate them up, yeah. but I hope that you guys enjoy watching all of them because right. we surely did enjoy each and every little thing that we Yeah, did. and we tried to show you guys a lot of us being out there doing stuff. Um, of course, you didn't see a lot of the time we just spent watching. Like, we we banged out almost a whole Netflix series. Right, we, we enjoyed were up in the middle of the night bit. every night. It would have been like 6 a.m. Yeah. You know, we saw sunrise, sunrise every morning right. yeah. because we were still awake. We really enjoyed just the way yeah. they keep each other company because we yeah. never leave that at home. So. It was so different and so refreshing. And I feel like I didn't sleep as much as I thought I would, but I still feel refreshed because I'm not chasing after an infant and a toddler right, right now. And of course we miss our girls, but Definitely. we are enjoying our quality time. Yeah. We'll see Ray and Roy soon. <laughs> yeah. So that is it for Dubai. Yes. Thank you so much everybody for supporting us and watching us. And we got part two. Coming soon. Yeah, the honeymoon's not over. Right, thanks for the support guys. All right, bye guys.